Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot. Later on, we're gonna be joining up with some friends, but one thing I really wanted to do was to see the new Leave a Legacy wall. If you recall, they used to have the Leave a Legacy statues. Now they actually relocated them and it's absolutely beautiful. So, let's go do this. If you recall, the Leave a Legacy statues used to be right here in front of Spaceship Earth. Now they're moved actually outside of the park and all the way over here. I really think it is absolutely beautiful. I love all the different colors on them and it's great that they actually have them on display. So people that actually have their picture on that wall can come see like the old version of themselves. You know, kind of take a look back. They are so bright, you can see them from here. Wow, I love it. They absolutely look amazing. Look at how cool these are. I love that it's all different colors and I hope that the people got the colors that they want. I know they didn't have any say in that, but it'd be awesome if like your favorite color was red and then you happen to be right here. That would be so cool, right? Let me know in the comments if you guys actually have a Leave a Legacy and I'm gonna show you how you can actually find your Leave a Legacy with the new system that they have that goes with this whole entire new wall. A little bit of the history and the new way to find your image right here. All you have to do is scan that QR code right there. Epcat Tile Finder. Did you hear me say Epcat? I said it with a little cat. That's really interesting and it gives you a step-by-step -step just so that you can find it. There are many of Disney loving celebrities on this wall, including the whole entire band of NSYNC, Justin Timberlake and Joey Fatone. And they used to be so popular, it was actually rubbed off. Like there was actually a certain spot on the old Leave a Legacies where you could spot it from a mile away. I'm not sure where they are on this wall. And I don't even think this is all of them. They still have a lot more to go. They still want to add every single Leave a Legacy. So this whole entire wall right here is going to be filled eventually. And if you guys end up finding you on here, please let me know. Leave a comment. I will come and try to find you. you all you have to do is use the system that I showed you over there and then tell me, hey, I am on 47 on the 49th row. So then I can look for you. That's really awesome how they have it. It's pretty simple, but you need all your information it looks like. And I don't know anybody really that close to actually find one. The coolest thing about this is you don't even need to have a theme park ticket or an annual pass to come check it out. You can actually just come here without actually going into Epcot and you can see this. That is amazing, isn't it? And now it's time to head on in. I love walking into Epcot and hearing the, the Epcot loop music. I would do this. Yeah, it's like you feel like you're soaring into Epcot. We're soaring, we're flying. Now, like I said, if you can't find your legacy, they're not all up yet. So once it's fully completed, then I would suggest looking for it. But I mean, if you're here, just come take a look. See, you never know. Maybe you're right there within those first new 49 rows. The weather is absolutely beautiful today, though. So, so nice. It's about 80 degrees out. The sun, blue skies and Epcot. It's amazing. We're gonna actually head right on over to Epcot's World Showcase. As you've seen, Jackie Super Enthused is with me and we're gonna meet up with some other friends and we're gonna go to a place that I went to not too long ago, but I did it by myself and I said, wow, I would love it if I did this with friends. So, we're gonna go to the beer garden. As we were walking on into World Showcase, we noticed that they added a whole entire Wideland Galleries over here. I haven't been on this side of the park since the Festival of the Arts started, and it's just amazing. Look at these coffee tables or wall stands. They're amazing, though. Wow, I love it. Ooh, Lady in the Tramp. This is really good because Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And then the Seven Doors Mine Train. These are just really phenomenal. I think I've actually seen the Seven Doors Mine Train table at the Wilderness Lodge before. They did have a section over there that's kind of like the art of Disney there. But wow, those are amazing. I don't know how much they cost, but I would like to own one. I know it's super bright, but can you imagine if a monorail just drove by? Perfect, right? You can see the birds' reflections. It's a great day to be at Epcot. 
I absolutely love nights at Epcot with sunsets like this. I mean, this is like one of the biggest reasons I moved to Florida. It's absolutely amazing. Florida sunsets are the best. And especially Disney Florida sunsets. Disney Florida sunsets. I'm sure Disney California sunsets are amazing too. We met up with our friends. Katie, Spencer, Best Life and Beyond. Jackie, Super Enthused, like I said before. Dylan, Michael, Theme Park, Obsession. Were you guys ready to prost? I am yeah. so ready. Prost! Recently, I just done a video here and I said how cool it would be to come back with friends because I was by myself because this is definitely something way better as you're with a bigger group of people. It's really a celebration. It's like we're transformed into Oktoberfest. <laughs> here we go. Look at this. Oh, pretzel rolls and potato salad. <laughs> of course, being at the beer garden, I have to get the full liter, and I went with the Dunkel this time. I absolutely love the Dunkel here. I don't know why. I just feel like it, it fits appropriate, and if you're in the beer garden, you gotta drink like the darkest beer, and you just gotta, you gotta have fun. And that's what this is. Like, it's such a fun atmosphere. I love it. And now that I'm here with friends, it's so much better. Yeah! Oh, oh boy! boy. <laughs> <laughs> so how much is this? A liter? Is it a liter? Yep. <laughs> that spills right there. Uh, that's amazing. That is what we're talking about. This is too good. <laughs> it's, it's so oh yeah. Ready? So. Disclaimer, please do not try to do that. I've actually done it many of times before. That wasn't my first time doing it. And uh, it's not something like you should play around with. You have to drink responsibly. Oh boy. Look at all this amazing food. We got the meatballs, the chicken, the bratwurst, the spatzel, the schnitzel, the green beans, the mac and cheese. So much amazing food. And we have a whole nother platter over there. And you can get as much as you like. If you only want meatballs, you tell them they'll bring you out some meatballs. I love it. Oh. Oh. So Now it's time for the bells. Bell Thank you. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. These are a few of my favorite things. 
That's the way, huh? <laughs> You guys know this or not, but I'm the polka king of the Midwest, and I absolutely love polka. <laughs> oh, and here comes the desserts. Oh boy! Chocolate chip cookies, black forest cake, Bavarian cheesecake with a berry compote, apple strudel with vanilla cream. Oh, oh my gosh! Wow. Okay, and this is all included with the vanilla. <laughs> I have to say, out of all the food, the meatballs are definitely one of my favorite things. And then, of course, the bratwurst and the schnitzel and the spatzel. But probably the meatballs, number one. I eat so many of them. But the pretzel rolls are really good up there. You know what I should have done? I should have put a meatball on the pretzel roll. Why didn't I think of this? Now it's time that we actually head out. It is 45 minutes past the park closed and there's still people eating in here. Actually, the last reservation was at eight o'clock, which was the park closed. So some people are just getting to their entrees and they haven't got dessert yet, but it's time for us to go. I mean, wow. We ate a lot, we drank a lot, we had so much fun. I absolutely love it here and I love it more now that I had friends to do it with. Just about that time, guys, look at that. As we were walking out, we noticed that the water taxis from World Showcase Lagoon are actually hovering over here. So it makes me think that they're going to raise the bridge up right here. And also, I think they're going to be bringing out another barge. How crazy is that? It's happening. Did that just happen? That was like Disney magic. Wait, what? <laughs> it's right there. Oh my god. Yes, that's not the point. Wow, this is so cool to be able to see the Epcot monorail in its full stride. But with that, I think uh, we're gonna walk on out of Epcot here. I had so much fun actually enjoying beverages at the beer garden with friends and then also eating all the food. It was so amazing and so much fun. Good times, good memories with good friends. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.